Okay, let's start from the beginning. So right. there's a difference between social awkwardness and social anxiety. So the definition of what I've looked up is social awkwardness describes an alternative way of living in the world. And then social anxiety is a defined medical condition that can cause severe social impairment. Ooh. Yeah. So that is a difference. That's a difference. I so didn't realize that. Awkwardness is a way of living in the world, and social anxiety is a medical condition that, you know, has severe social impairment. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's interesting for me because hmm. I'm like a kid at heart. I make everything about me sometimes. <laughs> so, you know, kids you make start. everything about them. But um, when someone's having social anxiety or social awkward, I think it's me. I'm like, do they not like me? Is it as I'm over the top? You know, where it's, I don't think it is. Well, I think it's it's how we start thinking anyway, right? As kids. And then obviously if you have your own form of either of those things, you're going, and you're also taught to look at yourself first before Mm -hmm. you blame other people. Right. So. But it doesn't have to do with me though. That's what I've learned about this disorder. Yes. Yes. uh, Well, also just going about the world I realize sometimes because I'm one of those people that could take on Mm. you can take on other people's things and make it you know and it's like okay not my circus not my monkeys that's Mm you I'm feeling all right yeah (laughs) like I'm I'm okay right now so I have a new way of going like okay, this is, this is weird, right? Something weird's going on. Like my brain conversation, I'm like, something's already going on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. With them? Let me just. Yeah, navigate keep it chill. through this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just figure out a way to and navigate. Talking a lot. Yeah. 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 But according to Social Anxiety Institute, social anxiety disorder, which is SAD, which yes. is appropriate for the title, SAD, describes an intense recurrent state of emotional stress in social situations. Mm. So fear of situations in which you might feel judged, like walking in and worrying about embarrassing or humiliating yourself. Mm -hmm. I've never had that. You know what? You know when I have that? Hmm. When I get stoned. I don't, I don't get high because of this. (laughs) I literally do not smoke because of it. You just made me remember the last time we smoked together and I... (laughs) Okay, uh, let me Sorry, hold it back Mom. real fast. <laughs> we, I love, I was a stoner, okay? You know how everyone you're, you're stoner, though. Yeah, I loved, it was just like <laughs> morning toke, you know, it, breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack. It was like everything. And then all of a sudden, it was like we broke up with me. And I oh. thought it was one of the biggest breakups of my life. I was just like. It changed? It changed. All of a mm. sudden, I, I got paranoid. And I think yeah. it's common. I don't exactly know why, but it, it happens Me with too. a lot of people. And then all mm-hmm. of a sudden they just can't anymore. And then, it, but you know, you're in denial because you love it so much. Right. And, it, and then now all of a sudden it's legal and you're like, well, fuck. <laughs> um, so, excuse me. Sorry about that. No, yeah, <laughs> so, it's real. Because you the whole. hard for weed back yeah, in the day. <laughs> dude, you worked really, really mm-hmm. hard for your, your weed. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so now all of a sudden. I can't smoke it, but you try no, because you're like, no, 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 it can't be the, the we, it can't be that. Right. And then all of a sudden, so we, anyway, we smoked and I got so weird the yeah, minute it I'm hit weird. that I was like, all right, I'm done and wrap. And I went into the room and fell asleep on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm weird. I start like, this is, and then I start feeling for people like yeah. fear that others will notice that you look anxious or like intense fear of interacting or talking with strangers. That's me stoned, like yeah. worrying about embarrassing, humiliating yourself. Yeah. Like, me sober. I don't give a shit. Like, you know, but I, but when I felt that, I was yeah. like, you know, like I had a stain on my shirt and I was like, no, oh my God, everyone's going to think I'm like tacky with this little stain. And nobody's going to notice that. Right. It was like little, but I did. I'm like, wow, if you have to live like that all yeah. the time, yeah. I have so much empathy for it's that. The closest, it's the closest thing I think like schizophrenia would kind of be like if it's extreme mm. in that way. Mm. I mean, I, I don't know. Like I, I've, I've grown up feeling because growing up, I didn't have a lot of friends. So the, the closest thing I guess I could maybe awkwardness or like anxiety would be like being unsure and then feeling judged mm-hmm. and then like feeling like I'm crawling into myself and like my, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that happened a lot <laughs> um, during the puberty years. Yeah. You know? I can see that. And I think, and, and I had my share of mean girls. Mm-hmm. I went to an all girl. 